Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. In this video I'm going to be trying out my new pack craft from Alpaca. So I got this fairly recent and um, I guess I just haven't had the chance to come out and test it out. And right now we are experiencing a heat wave so I thought it would be perfect opportunity to uh, come out and test it out for a camp. But it's a lovely day, super warm and I've got all my kit with me. But this is the first time I've actually loaded it up. So it's all a learning curve, no experience getting used to where everything goes and how it manoeuvres. I've been on the boat once already and it's been brilliant. I am finally at a place that I'm really happy with here. So this is down south. I live down south so it's fairly local and it's just it's like a little bolt hole to go to when um, I want to be on water and test out my boat. But it's also a really nice peaceful spot as well just to come and chill at. So this whole trip is an aid for a Scotland trip that I'm hoping to do fairly shortly. So I want to take my pack raft, my lovely pack raft and fish a jump in and use it in some locks around Scotland and make a little trip out of it. I haven't been to Scotland this year so I'm really missing it. Um, after spending a month there last year it's just got a hold of me and travelling abroad is very slim at the minute. So yeah I thought I'll go out today, get used to my boat, get used to um, being in it, packing it and what sort of gear I need. Already I've learnt so much, it's crazy. Like I'm thinking of getting different wet bags now, different ways of tying my kit on and stuff like that. But it was a great paddle down here, it isn't too far. It's a fairly easy paddle. Um, and I'm just gonna keep on paddling, just getting used to my boat, especially it's completely different with weight in it. And then uh, find somewhere to set up for tonight. So while I'm here, I'm going to get out the trusty old fishing rod and give it a go. I haven't done that in ages, so we'll see how that goes. Probably end up in a tree or something. So what I've got with me is some lures and my telescopic rod. So I'm just going to tie one of these on now. So I'm going to try a spinner. the camera work on this right now. It's, it's been a long time since I've done this. And you meant to lick it. <laughs> Pull it together. You know, I think they were lying when they said uh, women can multitask. Because I'm struggling right now. That's that done. Lure is on. Just going to burn off the excess line. So that is the five turn Grinner knot. But like I said, it's been ages since I've done this, so I'm so rusty. But 
I guess it's just like every anything in life. Um, right, I'm going to get a lighter and burn the excess off and then um, give it a crack, see how it goes. Right, we're rolling. I'm all set, ready to go. Just gonna go down here. Um, just start casting from the bank. But I don't have a real idea of what's in here. Judging from what I've seen, it looks like perch. But there probably is like pike and stuff in here. But I don't have a wire tracer on, so. Yeah, it's just going to go straight through my line. I do have one with me, but I'm not using it at the minute. So, um, we're just going to see if I hook into anything. <laughs> this is great. It's like bringing back my childhood memories. Love it. So I'm just going to have a little explore around really before the sun goes in because it's starting to like go behind the clouds and I think it's supposed to be um, really, what do you call it, I think it's meant to be really grim for the next couple of days in terms of rain and stuff so I want to make the most of the sunshine, enjoy it. That's why I don't really want to set up camp too early and then um, find somewhere to set up and to make some food. Sounds like a plan. But that is a really nice spot and I was debating staying there. I might come back. I might come back though. I'm just going to see. Fishing was good though. I enjoyed it. It was good fun. Um, I got snagged up a couple times, but that's just standard, isn't it? Like I said, I've got really rusty. I think we're literally just coming to the end of this heat wave, so I think I've got the nice, the last real nice day before it turns a bit crap again. But I can't believe how well this boat tracks, especially with stuff in it and that big bag on the front. I've just been looking for somewhere to set up for tonight uh, along this stretch. So I've been here before to that other bit um, and you've probably seen it on my videos if you watch them. But I come up here, there's a really nice place just here, like secluded, nice view, right next to the river, flat ground, everything, ticks all the boxes. But the wind is really picked up and I was like surprised how much the wind is picked up. I just looked at the forecast for tonight supposed to be well it's yellow warnings of a fun right i was talking and the battery died on this so what i i checked the forecast and i wondered why it was so windy it's because there is a thunderstorm coming in i'm going to show you this which i found amazing basically everything that i've bought with me pretty much all your essentials when you go on trips you put inside the boat so here I've got a cargo zip that I paid extra for so you can put stuff internally into the boat some people might be put off by this some people might think it's a great way of storing extra gear because in small inflatables that is such a mission when you're trying to go on a trip and take your gear with you so 
what happens is I'll undo this zip and all the air will come out of the boat because it's basically you're opening up the chamber of the boat. So I'm going to get out my tent and things and start setting up so I've got to take the boat down. So I think it is a good idea in a way because it takes your boat down and then you blow it back up when you need it. very very hungry now it has got started to get really cold so I'm just got a Russian pack meal and it's really nice so I'm gonna eat this now As you can see I'm wearing this now 
the mid cheese have got so bad. Um, I'm guessing it's because I'm right next to water, but they have got pretty bad. So I can only imagine what Scotland's like at the minute. Morning. I slept really well last night. Um, but as you can see, there isn't a storm, which is surprising because it was forecasted. But it is a lot colder. What I'm deciding today is whether to move on and just paddle a bit further down and change camp or not. I don't want to do this and then it absolutely tips it down. Yeah, so I am debating whether to move because I don't want to go further down the, this canal because of all the locks that you have along the way. And it, it's just, it, I think this is one of the nicest sections along this canal. So I don't want to go further down and it's not the best. So I've been fishing for quite a while now and I've had no joy, which is a shame, but I've had a few knocks and I've actually seen a perch chasing my spinner in the margins, but other than that I haven't caught one, but um, I think I'll try again a bit later or the prime time like near dusk, as that's when they're most active really. But I've tried different lures, so I've used a jelly and a spinner, and um, yeah, I've just mixed it up a bit. But anyway, I wanted to talk about my new purchase. Well, I say new, I waited, I think it's about three months till I got this. So I ordered this in February. No, yeah, ordered this in February, received it in June. So yeah four months, three, four months, um, and it, it came, which I'm so excited about. So this is the Alpaca Caribou. They do loads of different models, Alpaca, but I chose this one. It's one of their light weight range, so it's a really light raft, but it also carries a lot of gear. It's designed for bike packing, so the straps at the front where I had my backpack is where you normally keep a bike and store it on there. 
I don't have the proper straps so I need to sort of do a DIY um, purchase some straps you can also get the skirts on these so they go over you and you don't get all the drips off the paddles on you so you stay dry the boat is one chamber in itself which some people could disagree with because you usually have more chambers to keep you inflated and upright if one chamber goes down but this is really strong material so there is a there is a slim chance it will puncture unless you've absolutely hammered it and then in this chamber you can store a lot of your gear so I mentioned yesterday that a lot of my stuff was inside the boat in the cargo zip so what you can do is buy the boat with the add-on cargo zip and you can put stuff inside in wet bags so you can get the wet bags that come with alpaca or get your own and you can get them an inflatable bag so you can blow air into them so they're buoyant so I think that is a really cool feature because when you have an inflatable or a kayak you really struggle with knowing where to store your stuff if you're going for a longer trip so having that access to get inside the boat and store stuff is incredible design so the caribou comes in two colors red and like a dark green you can see that i did go for the more stealth option and like i said they do plenty of other models for different things they do heavier ones that can carry more weight um they do two met two man ones they do a white water raft in range they do this lightweight range or they just do like the standard pack raft range so they've all got different shapes and do different things i think these are great pack rafts they are super popular because it enables you to go out into the outdoors and hike but also have that option of carrying a boat with you in your bag or on your bike so i think that's so cool that you can have a tiny compact light boat and be able to travel on foot and on water or bike and i decided to go with alpaca because of their range and the quality of their boats it's a really strong but light material they can be pricey but this is something that's going to last for a while and it's something that i'm going to use a lot i don't i put a lot of my money and my savings into my hobby and what i love doing so yeah i have saved for this and i'm going to look after it and use it a lot so i think it is worth the money and what i've spent out i'm going to get back in experience and enjoyment but overall it's been great for using it over the past couple of days and getting used to how it works it's really comfortable it comes with an inflatable seat that you can put in there it's got enough leg room for me and to store a few bits inside I'm really looking forward to heading off to Scotland and trying this out, seeing how it performs. And uh, yeah, I'll be videoing that. So make sure you look out for them, them videos that go on. Right, as you can see, I am at a different location. So I've decided to move, um, just to, it's fancy moving really, and to another lovely spot. I didn't paddle too far, made my dinner, I had um, a noodle meal and then I finished it with a Chia Charge bar which was really nice. So um, it's been such a nice day yet again, it's been a real chilled couple of days and nice to get some experience with my pack raft. You won't believe what's just happened. 
I literally did overhand cast in the boat and I've got a fish I've got a little perch it's only small but I think it's because it's taken so long to get one it's so hard trying to paddle and fish though ah! <laughs> That is a lovely one. Look at that. I love these fins here on a perch. Okay, so now I've taken the hook out. Let's see how this goes. There he is. So I'm going to put him back now in the water, nice and gently. <sighs> hey! I love that. I must say, I'm pretty pleased with my multitasking there. That was three things, or four, filming, talking, trying to paddle and uh, <laughs> handle a fish. So, sorry about the film in here. The camera is literally just sitting at my boat. First fish, just a little one, but still buzzing. I'm sticking with the overarm cast in there. It seems to work better in the boat. So walking back with my boat and this happened. They are really intrigued. So they were on the opposite side of the bank. Somehow they crossed over and now they're just meters away from my tent. Essential items coming out. I don't know what this is used for. It's for the midges. It's like a great alternative. had such a brilliant day today it's been so nice so I'm just gonna sort my gear out now uh, everything's a bit of a mess at the minute so I'm gonna sort this out and then probably start thinking about going to sleep I am knackered and um, also the midgey's quite bad so hopefully that skin so soft will work its magic I've also got that um, jacket with the head net on that I was wearing yesterday. In the, I'm feeling like in the night them cows are going to come over here and start tripping over my guy lines and waking me up. They were so fascinated by my boat for some reason. So they followed me all the way over here and then they were just standing staring for ages. So we will see what happens tonight I guess.
morning. I am now leaving camp, which is quite a shame, but it's been such a nice few days. Slept really well. No cows to disturb me. Um, and now I'm just going to be heading back and getting picked up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say a massive thank you to Alpaca for making such a quality boat for me to use this weekend. I want to thank Kendall Mint Cake for fueling this adventure as well as Outdoor Provisions and Cheer Charge. They're really great brands when it comes to energising yourself when you're on adventures and doing exercise. And I want to say a huge thank you to all my Patreons who I will list at the end of this video for making this possible. So thanks again and take care.